let me ask you this. Let's get let's <laughs> real quick impromptu. Have you have you made a list of who you want, what you want in a man, the man you want versus the man you don't want? Characteristics, styles, physical, emotional, all the above. A million times. You have. <laughs> Do you spend- I just updated it. Okay, I got you. I got you. Like a week ago or two weeks ago, I edited it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you visualize this and and you visualize a picture. It's kind of tough with a face. Not as much as I can. But not not as much as I should. Yeah. Because I, but that also is now you bring in awareness because part of it is for me is I tend to not go into that with such intensity because. I have my career and personal goals and I feel like I can't do both of them at the same time. Oh my gosh. Look at these layers. So you don't believe that this is a belief system. You're not sure. Maybe there's a lack of belief that you could have this life with this man that you're dreaming about personally as a woman being synergist, being integrative or, or conducive to the goals you have that are material and business and professional related. You have a belief system that you don't think that they can align. Yeah, and I also feel like maybe the person that I would morph into when I get to where I want will be very different than where I am now. What's more important to you, the picture of the home life or the picture of the professional life? If you had to drop one off a cliff and keep one, all all money and paying bills aside, don't think practically at all. (laughs) (laughs) So don't think money. (laughs) <laughs> Don't think anything about that. Which one would fulfill you more? Happy, prosperous home life, which means there's money there, or all your business and, and aspirational goals of that fulfilled? Either mm, one. That's both a tricky them, one. Well, th- that's something to think about. Both yeah. of them, think about this. I always tell people, don't think perfect, think ideal. So and yeah. I said this during the challenge. Which one of those... If if I don't believe this is either or, we'll talk about that later. Right. Which one of those, if you had to have one, is the one you gotta have? I right. think I think so I'll you, tell you my first thought. Yep. Right. My first thought was that protection, that like that thing that I do where I have these thoughts to, to protect me. So the first thought was like, if I have my career and all of those things, like that's something that I feel like I can bank on versus like another human being because you can't choose control make, like you can't control another human being so yeah. my natural like that is the first thought that came to my mind is like and that's obviously something that if i go back it's a running thought process is that yeah. if i at least do this then it gives me some type of safety net yeah versus like i guess being vulnerable and trying that out and then having that mindset that it's gonna not work or it's gonna be you know so yeah that level that was the first thought is so refreshing and it's absolutely mandatory to make real change happen i just wanted to add that little Mm -hmm. note in there like that's huge because that's a nuance like that would have asking questions and trying to figure things out like that that could take a long time to get to that, but you're over, you have that awareness, which helps yeah. so much because it would normally be like, oh, she learned a pattern from some other family member or a close friend, and then she sees her because of some worth issue because of her father. She's done. She's rejecting men and pushing. Them. Like that's the classic cliche for a woman. Mm-hmm. And guys, yeah. it's because their mom messed them up, and so they don't know how to treat women right. <laughs> so maybe, yeah. maybe not. But yeah, yeah, that's, I think for me personally, like I've gone past like putting it on like childhood and all those things because I have had dating experiences that are now driving me. So it's not like, oh, I'm searching for something. It's like, okay, yeah, I have tried that and it hasn't worked out or this happened or whatever, whatever. And furthermore, like those times when I have like done the relationship thing and put the focus on that. I've let the career and those goals go by the wayside. Yeah. And then there's this story of like, see, well, now I don't have anything because this didn't work out. And then now I've fell off on this. Let me, let me look at this is 
treasure trove. In Proverbs, it says, build your field before you build your house. Plant your field, nurture your field, grow your field before you build your house. The way that most people interpret that is get in our day, I, and I tell my kid, get your business right, get your money right, be strong and solid on your own that you don't need anyone. And then you'll be open and relaxed waiting for the right her to come into your life. And you don't need her anymore. You want her. You want the vision with her. You don't need her to bring her, her power to the table. You hope she does. And you guys will learn to use that side by side together. No one completes you. Right? Yeah, of course. So there's that aspect, but there's the aspect of get your money, right? Get your business, right? And then build your house. And some people say, do that before you go start a family. <laughs> I never did that. I've always done that probably backwards in my whole life. And it explains a lot of things, but <laughs> I do know that diverted attention produces diluted results. Let me say it again. If your attention is diverted split, attention. diverted attention, divergent, diverted attention produces diluted results. I'm not putting all my eggs in one basket. My mom, my mom told me that. She raised me as a core belief of hers. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. And that's how you might survive, but you'll never have abundance. I wanted abundance. When I started hearing the other side say, if you want to blow up, Put all your eggs in one basket and focus everything you have on the basket. So if diverted attention produces diluted results and you're getting a little bit here and there and none of it's really flourishing, why don't you figure out which one is the number one for a minute and set a time frame and a goal that lights your soul on fire to go knock that one thing out. And yes, building a business is highly much more predictable than a man, <laughs> even though we are generally pretty predictable. <laughs> you, you you can control the time frame to a degree on that, unlike a person, right? So yeah. there's there's a practical aspect to that. Because again, I don't think it's either or. I think it's maybe a wrong question or in a wrong uh, uh an approach that isn't serving you. And so I'm thinking, I don't know, like if I'm Jay last night talking to me, telling me what to do, which I rarely ever do that, just from what we're saying, I'm like. I'm going to get nuts about becoming super hard in my mind again. I'm doing physical training and all what I'm doing to put me into the state that I need to be in. So then the, the state that I am as Adam can go get the job done as a career professional. And then I'm going to go fulfill my wife's dreams. It will all happen. But if I sit around here trying to like think about what I can sell door to door to get three grand to go make the honeymoon happen first. I still got the same damn problem when I come back from the honeymoon is that is that my empire is not growing. My business is not, gotcha. feeding, my business isn't feeding the empire, which is my wife and my kids and my friends and the people I want to impact. I don't use that word. Like, so for cars and jets. Hmm. That makes sense. I like that. Singular. Sing, I just think it's something out. Focus. Look, and it's win, right? It's what's important next. You're looking at such macro levels that it might not even seem like, oh, that these things apply to those categories. They do. They're just, you're just looking at the two biggest pillars of your priorities, relationship, career, finance. Like those are massive, but you can't pursue them both at the same time greatly. Yeah. Greatly. Tiger Woods with golf in his relationships. These people who are the great, look at Elon Musk in business the wives, the children in the wake behind them. These business giants have shown me that I don't have that desire. Made it clear because it seems that that is either or. You're going to either be the richest man in the world, the greatest basketball player to ever live, the greatest swimmer to ever live, or the greatest whatever, or you can be maybe the greatest family man that you could be, right? Not ever, but you, you could be. I chose family over finance. And my life shows that. My life shows it. My finances are not where they could be for commensurate with my skill level, with my know-how, with my abilities. I had a handful of those opportunities that I could have gone after and made that happen. One was real estate. One was sales training. 
And there was a couple others. I'm like, oh my gosh, my skills are in line. I'm boom, boom, boom. I get up to a couple hundred grand pretty fast. Like that's taking me away from my number one, which is nothing's more important to me on, as a man on this earth that in the context of my life, having bliss with Nikki, having bliss with my wife, that is my priority. I made her my priority. My marriage, my priority, right? After the divorce. Then the kids, boom, boom, boom. And then the finances are on the list. That is like, that's the inside look behind my curtain. And now it's time to make the money happen. Now it's time to make that happen because my other areas are flourishing. They're not perfect. They're not perfect. She gave me a look I didn't like this morning and I gave her one right back. And she goes, what? And I was like, your face. That's what I said to her. She goes, you know what she did? She goes, I like my face. I said, I do too. It's great. But I didn't like that facial expression you just gave wow. me. We're pretty wow. honest with each other. But, Which is good, right? Yeah. No, but again, one lane. One lane highway for a little while until you're until you know you got it to a place where it's like, okay, now it's time for leverage and I need to scale. I need to look at this again. Yep. <laughs> was this but already like, no, it was worth it. No, like, for real, because I just figured it out. Like, just even those, like, there's just been certain points, but the question is like, which one do you want? And then it ties back into what we were talking about. It's like having awareness, being sick of something, figuring out what you're sick of, and then now being able to get a vision, right? So now that I have that question that I've, suspect I have an answer for in my head. I just need to like kind of I wish I wasn't going to the gym right now. I really would want to like write it down. Well this but, is um, this is part let me ask you this then this is part of revolutionary freedom. I'm not telling you not to, but I'm asking you if this seems that big, do you feel like you would lose out going to the gym? And if not going to the gym in this moment or delaying it a little bit longer, is that the appropriate mode? What's telling you right now, I'm at the gym, I have to attend? Why is that number one? Uh, because I haven't been in a, uh, over a week. Okay, and... but that doesn't mean it needs to be the moment, right? Well, okay. I'm already here, so. I got you, I know. Um, I'm just, I, but I, I think out about the idea of losing inspiration ideas and or getting stopping the flow in the middle and then going to do something else when magic was about to happen, maybe. For yourself, a yeah. breakthrough, right? Yeah, that's, that's up true. to you. That's up I, to you to decide. If yeah, but also like med working out is also like a form of meditation for me. It's like that's when I have my out. biggest. It's all timing. I'm only referring gotcha. to timing. Like, are yeah. you going there because you 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 feel like maybe you'll be letting them down again and living up to others' expectation because you did sign up? I heard you explain her to her. How you missed. I'm teaching my daughter Addison to stop explaining herself and to start telling people, thank you for your patience. I'm not sorry I'm late. This is my life. But in there, I just want you to wonder if you're doing that or if you delayed another four hours, maybe you feel a little bit douchey like I would, but you're prioritizing yourself. And yeah. it's, it's only because you're keeping your word to another person. And that is integrity. And I know that you operate by integrity. But integrity to yourself, to fulfill your calling, your priorities, the stuff that is divine inside of you that's calling you to execute, that's the priority, right? The gym serves the priority as a tool. I might not need manifestation map today. I need radar today. So maybe this hour of your workout could go to another two hours if you can make it delay or tomorrow. or fit. I'm, not I'm just trying to help you be creative about it's not either or. Yes, you right. got to keep it. But if you're in a moment right now where you're feeling something and, and learning some things and you want to just go walk by and just reflect, dude, it could be the most important thing you do all year. Yeah, that's true. Just a thought. That is true. I'm going to ponder on that. For me, this is awesome. Um, and um, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, yeah. thank you, thank you. You're welcome. I think I just hit another level. Like I already knew like, oh yeah, like he has this ability to do it. But then like now I've just experienced it on a, another level where I'm like, oh shit. Like, <laughs> so feel good about that. Good. That blesses me too. And lot. you'll get to see it, right? Yep. 
you'll get to see that. Yep. So I just want to leave you with this. Like you talked about, you talked about like, oh, like, you know, uh, this whole thing around you asking to people who know you, like you, that may be a part of your purpose of why you run into these people. It's for like, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. And I pray for opportunities to help people like all the time, all the time. Help me make a difference so to somebody today. I'm just saying don't completely stray away from being like, oh, I need to get complete strangers because. I appreciate that. Yeah. I know that I do not have the healthiest thought process when it comes to that stuff. And so I. Yeah. Yes. So just keep that in mind because there's going to come a time from this conversation where things are going to happen in the next few months and you're going to be like, oh shit. Like, now imagine if you were like, oh, I'm not going to hit her up because I know I don't want her to give me feedback or like she doesn't need what I have to offer. And that would have been a missed opportunity. No, no, no. The, the ultimate lie that I hear in my head, I didn't get a chance to share this one, what is my dad saying, what are you selling now, boy? Mm. That's the core. Marquita, I don't let that out a lot because I don't want to say it out loud. It makes, it. Me, it makes me want to cry because I feel hurt when I say it because I hear his I voice. Get it. I get that's, it. That's it. What you selling now, boy? Traveling salesman, he called me. The traveling salesman. <laughs> Thanks, dad. <laughs> but what he did was cause me to get into a place where I'm going to help a bunch of people out of that. Yep. So... Thank you. Well, I'm going to get off of here because my bladder is about to explode. Me I'm too. on like over. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so. sweating. I'm sweating. I got a piece so bad. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll talk. We'll talk soon. Maybe I'll send you a picture of a stone mountain in Georgia or something. Awesome. Awesome. Have a great workout and uh, reflection. Talk to you later. Yes. Bye. Thank you. Thank You're you. Welcome.